So this is a short video review of the Samsung Galaxy Folder 2. So this is what it looks like without a case. Sometimes I use a case on it, but I prefer not to just because it's bulky and it adds a little bit of weight. I have a small charm here that I got from Shopee. I also got the phone from Shopee. Um, I'll post a link down below. And um, I got it from a shop called J Plus Mobile. Um, they're actually shipping it from Korea. So yeah. Um, also, they have the option for you to get um, a secondhand model or a brand new model. This one, I got it for, I think, around 7,500 Philippine pesos. Um, I'm not sure how much it is right now. Um, I'm not sure if they raise the price because of demands or whatever. Um, but yeah, you can also get it brand new. But as you can see, this one doesn't have scratches at all. So um, apparently the original folder 2 was released back in, I think, 2017. Um, but I got the 2021 version, so it looks a little bit different. Um, I think the difference is that... The logo is here at the bottom part of the, what do you call this, like upper <laughs> upper screen? What? I don't know. Um, but the older version has the logo up here. So there's like a bar here. So it looks uh, um, slightly different. And there's nothing on the side except from the volume button. It has a removable battery as well, which I'll show you. So it has a 1950 mAh battery. So not really big um, compared to the phones that we have today. But then again, um, it, it has a really small screen. So nothing on the right side except from... It also has a key charm hole, which I love. And it, it's white, it's like pearl white. Um, when it's when it gets hit by light, it has a certain sort of like rainbow effect. It really has a lot of fingerprints. Let me wipe it down. So it's really cool. It's really pretty. And um, for comparison, this is how big it is compared to a regular flip phone, or yeah, regular dumb phone from before. So. This is the Samsung Nori. So it's really a lot bigger. And when you open it, it's, it's even taller. Like it's really long. <laughs> like I have to put it far just so the camera can, can see all the, like the, the entirety of the phone basically. So this is how big it is. It is it is pretty big. Let's turn this on. And this is how it compares in size. Um let me get my flip three phone. So this is the Samsung Galaxy uh flip three I think. I I don't even know. And as you can see, it's so much taller compared to this phone. So yeah. Okay, and all right, so to answer some of your questions, um, does it have Bluetooth? Yes, it does. Um, you can turn on the Bluetooth from the settings. Here, and turn it on. I'm gonna try to connect it to my Samsung Galaxy Buds Live earphones. Oops. So I just have to open it like this. And there, as you can see, it connected. So yes, it works with Bluetooth headphones because unfortunately it doesn't have um, the regular headphone jack that older phones used to have. So yeah. 
and um yes i can make calls and texts using this phone um I'm, I'm in the philippines i'm not sure where you are and i'm not sure if it's gonna work um if you're in a different country but here in the philippines it works it has one sim card tray uh sim card tray <laughs> tray and it also has um an sd card tray i think you can put up to 256 gig um, I'm not really sure, but I think, yeah, I think you can. And I think a lot of people are asking about the theme. So usually for Samsung phones, you have the option to use the Samsung Galaxy themes. Unfortunately, this is an older version of Android. It's running 6.0 Android, which I think, I think is Marshmallow, I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't support the Galaxy Store, unfortunately. But you can download um, a third-party launcher. Um, what I have is a Nova launcher. And I downloaded this icon pack called Crayons. So this is what it looks like. So to change, just hold, hold down, click settings, look and feel, icon style, icon theme. So currently I have crayon. And you can change it to something else. For example, this one, sunshine icon pack. So now it looks a little bit different. But I like the older one better. So I'm going to change it back to crayon. Okay. Okay, so there. And um, basically all of the apps that still supports Android 6.0 should work on this phone. So um, I have a few apps here. Um, I have the, uh, what do you call this? The YouTube app, which is loading. So let me just play something. Actually, let me just play this video. Hey guys, Josh here. And today I would like to discuss- Oh, I don't have auto-rotate on. Wait. recently revealed project, Rear Sekai. A few days ago, they showed the Japanese it's pretty decent, it's not so bad, but don't expect the best, because it is an older phone, yeah. Um, one thing I don't like about this is that the speakers is located here. So it's this small little speaker here right next to the camera. So if I, if I close it, or if I cover it, and what happens is if I'm listening to music and I'm holding the phone like this, sometimes I accidentally cover the speaker hole and it gets muffled, which I don't like, but that's just how it is. So yes, YouTube works. Um, I also have TikTok Lite, which also works. I use this all the time on this phone. So it works. Unfortunately, you cannot switch. Wait, let me just. You cannot switch the video by clicking the cursor. You're gonna have to use a touch screen. So it works. I have Twitter. I've also tried Facebook here before and Messenger. They both work. Um, currently, I don't have those apps installed because I don't use them. Um, but yeah, social media apps like Reddit, Twitter. Facebook, YouTube, they all work. I also have um, Spotify, but I don't use Spotify. I'm just going to show you that it works here. Um, I mainly use Apple Music. So it is kind of slow, which is to be expected, I guess. Um, this has a quad-core 1.4 gigahertz RAM, um, I mean not RAM, ARM processor, and um, it has 16 gigabyte of internal storage, and I think 8 megapixel um, back camera, and then 5 megapixels front camera, which we have here. So this is... This is Spotify, so I don't have a current subscription. So let me see if we can play a music here. 
I'm just gonna play this one. Hey, it's Taylor, and I'm gonna be telling you five things that kept me up at night and helped inspire the Midnight's album. So yeah, it works. Um, I have calculator, and then here, um, for some reason, I've tried Apple Music, and it, whenever I log in, it just goes back to the main screen, and it doesn't work for some reason. So I don't know, I don't know why. I have Chrome, Clock, I have, yeah, some icon packs, Food Panda works, I've tried it a couple of times. Um, it does have a Galaxy store, so you can download some Samsung apps, but it doesn't work with the Galaxy theme store. And then Gallery, uh, Google app. It's gonna try to refresh it. So yeah, this one works. And then I have Grab, which I can confirm Grab works. Um, I've tried it multiple times. Instagram. So it also works there. Um, I think I saw someone asking if the filter works um it does so let me show you i don't know why oops <laughs> there so let me see this one so let's try some filters so as you can see it works so i find that pretty cool Um, yeah, Nova Launcher, Reddit, because I love browsing Reddit, it works. I don't have any problems browsing Reddit here, um, checking pictures, browsing, um, watching videos and everything, so it works. Um, what else? S Planner, Rear Calendar. Um, I think someone asked if it can play games. I haven't personally tried playing games here because I don't use this for games. It's a backup phone after all. But I downloaded this game for the sake of this video just so I can test it. So let's see. And it's taking forever. Okay, so it booted up. So here's what it looks like. I don't know how to play this game. Okay, so apparently it works, so I can play it there. I just want to show you. Um, what else? So, um, can you use data? Yes. So I'm currently on Wi-Fi, so let me turn off my Wi-Fi. So as you can see, it's running on LTE connection. And I can also use this as a hotspot which I'm going to try now. Let me see if I can connect here. Shoppy. Um, so that's the password. Let me see if I can. So it's this one called Android AP. I'm connecting. So yeah, so mobile data works, hotspot works. Um, and again, any apps that can support Android 6.0 should be able to work on this phone. It's not the fastest, but I think it's okay. It's, it's understandable and it's also, it's pretty decent. You get what you pay for. It's an old phone after all. I just, I really like using it. It's really cute. So yeah, I think that's all. Thanks.